Peter Jackson has given a rare glimpse into his progress on the Hobbit movies. The Kiwi is making two prequels to the Lord of the Rings trilogy and revealed the anxieties he faced, returning to material which had already provided such a huge success. Tony Wright reports. Fans of Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy have been eagerly awaiting news on how his two Hobbit prequels are progressing. Now a tantalising tidbit from the man himself. We're three weeks away from delivering the first script, so we, we've got two scripts to write, so we're just obviously doing one at a time. Jackson's been amazed at how easily his team have slipped back into the world of the characters since beginning full-time writing three months ago. It's just like back writing Bilbo Baggins, Gandalf, all the old favourite characters and it. We just click straight back into Middle Earth again, so I, I was pleased. Which he admits was a relief because there were real concerns they could struggle to conjure up that old Lord of the Rings magic. I was worried that somehow we might not, we might have lost it or it might not be there anymore. You know, I had sort of a little bit of anxiety, but um, once we got underway it was felt very comfortable. While the Hobbit prequels are just starting out, Jackson's latest film, The Lovely Bones, based on Alice Seabold's best-selling novel, is almost finished. I read the book and I cried. <laughs> That's when I thought, I thought it would be an incredible movie. Uh, it, you know, if the things that I, I was imagining that made me cry could be put on screen, I thought, wow, this would be really, um, really amazing. And while he was admitting to tears, he also revealed why he makes films his way and not Hollywood's. It's very personal. I mean, every film I make, I, I consider to be a very personal movie because I'm making it for myself first and foremost. And you always have to hope that your tastes are the same as what anyone else has because you're not making it for other people. I mean, I really don't like the idea of making films for strangers, you know, making them for a demographic because that doesn't work and I think it's dangerous. And with Jackson's success rate, who's going to argue? Tony Wright, 3 News.